Modern human culture is embedded in symbols. So when I get up in the morning and I dress, the way I dress actually sends messages about who I am, how I conceive of myself. So everything I do is symbolic. Um, the kind of car I drive is symbolic. The church I go to is symbolic. All of these things stand for something else. And everybody else can interpret the fact that they stand for something else. There are many things that make human beings unique as a species. There are many physical peculiarities. But the one that makes us feel unique is our extraordinary symbolic mental capacity. We disassemble the world around us. We break it down into a mass of symbols that we give names to, and then we recombine those symbols to remake the world in our heads. And in a very real way, we live in a world of our own making. Clearly, you need a whole bunch of different mental capacities in order to indulge in, in abstract thought. And we don't know what the key capacity was. We don't know what it was exactly that was added at the moment that humans began to express the abstract symbolic cognitive style. But clearly, it's a product of the human brain. And the human brain is the product of 350 million years of vertebrate evolution. What we see initially in human evolution is bipedalism. It looks as if that appeared perhaps as early as five million years ago, but they don't give us any impression that they're more than bipedal apes. About a million and a half years ago, we get one of the really big jumps in evolution. Brain size was about 80, 85% of modern brain size. Body build was much more modern. Then about half a million years ago, cranial capacity comes up almost to modern range. In Europe, they evolve into Neanderthals. In Africa, they evolve into Homo sapiens. So anatomically, modern humans are in place by 200,000 years ago. Human physical remains tell us what people looked like, how tall they were, how big their brains were, information like that. But that's all they tell you about capacity of humans. They don't tell you how humans behaved. And that's where you need to rely on the material artifacts, the artifacts you recover from the sites that people lived in. We're in Blombos Cave in the Southern Cape, South Africa. And we've been excavating here for many years because this cave contains important evidence of the origins of modern human behavior. What we're looking at here is, is what's called a section. This is the deposits that were brought into the cave that were left behind by people who lived here hundreds or perhaps thousands of years ago. And each time that people came into the cave, they brought food with them, they brought various materials with them. They left the materials in the cave. And that's what's caused these lines you can see against this wall over here. Some of the most interesting finds have been below this orange sand layer, which dates to about 72 to 77,000. And this indicates to us a very, very early period um, for people using material artifacts in a symbolic way. Some of the artifacts we have over here, um, these are some of the beads, which date to about 75,000 years ago. They're uh, made on a small shell. And what they've done is they've pierced a hole through the mouth of the shell to create a hole that they could string the bead to make perhaps a necklace. And I think there's one point that all archaeologists agree on, is that beads are typical markers of symbolic behavior or behavior that's mediated by symbolism again. Is this in the oh, no, I think it's just stained with a bit of ochre. Okay. I think it is a little chip of ochre, but it's a very, very small. I don't want to scratch it now, but if I did, the color would show up much better. Ochre is becoming one of our prime finds. This is a very nice piece. 
it's been worked, it's been scraped on the one edge over here. It may have been used in this kind of way that people smoothed it across their skin like that, which would have left a red mark, almost like a, like a red lipstick. We know certainly in contemporary societies that people use ochre very strongly to indicate affinities or sexual status, a whole lot of things in fact. There is still some discussion about the exact implications of the findings at Bronfoss Cave, but the interpretation of bodily adornment certainly has been, um, has been uh, recently reinforced by discoveries in the Levant and in North Africa. So there's some consistency here. I think Blombos Cave gave us really the first solid information that humans were using symbols at 75, 77,000 years ago. We now know that people did not evolve modern type behavior in Europe. They were already modern before they left Africa. So our previous understanding of Europe being the cradle of modernity has now been overturned and Africa is now back in the spotlight again.